Hi guys, this is my third video. Thank you for joining me. My name's Adrina and I'm an Australian teacher, a Teachers Pay teacher seller and a new mum. In this video today, I am going to be talking about all the things that you need to know about setting up and starting a Teachers Pay teacher store in 2021. Now this is going to be more directed at people that are wanting to start a clip art store. However, uh, there's information in here if you are just wanting to start um, a general kind of resource store or just a store in general. If you've never heard of TPT, TPT stands for Teachers Pay Teachers and it is an online marketplace for teachers to buy and sell their own original created resources. So things like PowerPoints, lesson plans, curriculum, fonts and my most favorite of all clip art. There are so many different things that is sold on Teachers Pay Teachers um, in the education space but this video is going to be more directed at the clip art side of things. So in today's video I'm going to be answering some burning questions that I had when I first started on TPT. There are a lot of questions that I had when I first started my store and I am going to be answering them here. Hopefully it is going to be helpful to you guys. Now I'm sure if I had some of these questions that maybe some of you have some questions that you want to know and hopefully this video will be able to answer some of those. Quick story, I still technically class myself as a newbie because I am still learning and growing on this platform. However, I do currently have two Teachers Pay Teachers stores. One I started in May of 2020, which was um, like a resource store, which did include clip art. But my second most recent store, Talazo Clip Art, which is what this channel is connected to, uh, that one I started this year in May. Between those two stores, I've learned quite a lot of things. And I have applied what I learned in my first year on TPT from my first store into Talazo Clip Art this store. So today I'll be answering questions like do you have to be a teacher to sell clip art on TPT? What programs do I need to create clip art and what programs do I need to put them up on TPT? What things do I need to know before starting a Teachers Pay Teacher store? If you want to know any of the answers to those questions and I have lots more I'm going to answer them, then keep on watching. So in true teacher style. Let's go through the who, what, when, where and whys of what you might want to know about teachers pay teachers and starting a store or at least things that I wanted about when I first started. So question one, who can be a clip artist and sell on TPT? So do I have to be a teacher to sell clip art on TPT? Now my short answer to that would be no you don't have to be a teacher to be able to sell clip art on teachers pay teachers. I do believe that is probably more strongly promoted that if you are an educator in this space and creating clip art that is definitely more beneficial for this platform. However, I believe if you are a creative person that has a passion for education or can provide to this space, the education space, as long as you abide by the guidelines and the rules, then I believe, yes, if you are a creator, um, you don't necessarily have to be a teacher to be able to sell on TPT. We all have our different strengths and you know, teachers are in the classroom teaching and we sometimes don't always have a lot of time to <laughs> create clip art um, and I mean some teachers don't really have that creative flair that other creators might have to create their own clip art. So yeah this space does need not just teachers however if you are a teacher like I am um, I think it's definitely beneficial because you're sort of going to know um, you're going to have a little bit of a heads up because you sort of know what you might need in the classroom. So I will just let you know I have had a little look on Teachers Pay Teachers guidelines and they do definitely promote more of you being an educator to sell on this platform however I looked up um, even when signing up to Teachers Pay Teachers you can see um, I'll insert some screenshots uh, when you sign up it actually has a selection part where you can select not a teacher so as you can see probably here um, yeah, it says that so I would imagine that not everyone on this platform is a teacher but like I said if you are that is amazing and if you can create clip art and you're a teacher as well amazing however if you are somebody that is just a creative I think you're definitely welcomed onto the platform so yeah hopefully that answered that question in regards to if you're overseas when I first started I was like okay well I'm in Australia is this something that I can do if you're somewhere else that's not the United States can you still sell 
clip art can you still sell on there and yes they um, actually you definitely can and I'll insert a screenshot that I found from the Teachers Pay Teachers guidelines. Um, also, it, and I'll read it here because I have a printout of it. It says, yes, TPT is an open marketplace and we welcome teacher authors from around the world. A large number of TPT sellers and buyers are English speakers. So many of the resources you'll see posted on the platform are in English. But you're more than welcome to post resources in your own language or in any language. Um, so yeah, they, they definitely welcome as somebody if you are from overseas and not just the United States. So this is like a global community. Okay, question two. What programs can I use or do I need to create clip art on? Okay, so there are a range of different programs that you can use to create clip art on. I'll include a little list of what programs that I have heard of that you can use. And my number one first being Procreate, that's the tool that I use and that is, um, a, that is an app that is found on the iPad. So there are many more such as PowerPoint, yes you can create clip art in PowerPoint. Actually when I first started my first tour, uh, the first kind of clip art pieces I made was actually on PowerPoint and I down the track am going to for sure um, give a few tutorials on how to make clip art in PowerPoint because I've learned some tips and tricks um, that I'm excited to share with you guys if you are if you don't have an iPad but you're like oh I want to create clip art PowerPoint is one that you can actually create clip art on as well next is affinity designer I haven't actually used this program I'm excited to I actually downloaded it last was it last year yeah I think I downloaded it and I bought it last year when it was on sale but because my iPad is not actually that big in size my iPad's quite full from procreate and using that app so I haven't really been able to open the affinity designer app but I would definitely like to have a little play with that down the track and maybe if I do get into it I'll let you know how I go with it but for now I haven't used it but I have heard good things Adobe Illustrator is one now I feel like Adobe Illustrator is definitely getting on more on that professional grade type of thing <laughs> and I definitely want to down the track invest in that but for now I'm not in that position to invest in a subscription for Adobe Illustrator so I'm going to be leaving that for now but that is definitely on my cards to be getting into down the track. Another one is Adobe Photoshop so that's similar to Adobe Illustrator I believe uh, there's probably some slight differences for sure um, more on that professional grade and yeah I would like to have a little play with these ones but I haven't really had um, the chance to get. Another one I've heard of people using is Adobe Fresco. I don't know too much about Adobe Fresco but I have heard good things. Um, some people choose this over uh, Illustrator and Photoshop so yeah. I'm really sorry but it literally has just started to pour down so if you hear rain in the background I apologize if you see a change in lighting. <laughs> that's what's happened sorry about that so Inkscape is a free one online I believe uh, I've heard a few people using that one and it's a free one and I think you can create vector uh, lines and stuff in that which is really good because that is something that you can enlarge without it losing quality if you go through like a vector based program whereas Procreate for example is a pixel raster based <laughs> program I believe Blender is one that I've heard people use to create clip art on now this one I hadn't heard of until the other day when I was doing a bit more research into this but Krita it's a free one online I believe. I haven't really played around with it, I haven't downloaded it but I have heard and seen some people um, talk about using Krita in their product creation for clip art. And the last one is Sketchbook. Uh, this is another one that I've heard but I haven't actually used myself. So the ones that I have used is Procreate and PowerPoint. So I'll be talking more so about them on this channel currently. However, um, I will, when I learn some other ones, I'll probably go into that as well. Okay, so question three. What do I need to know before starting a clip art or just normal teachers pay teachers store? Okay. I have some tips for you. Your first product that you upload onto Teachers Pay Teachers is going to be free. So keep that in mind when you are excited about making your Teachers Pay Teachers store. Do be mindful that your very first product needs to be free. So make sure that you do make it a quality product but not over the top because your first product is never going to be your best product. If it is your best product then you've got a lot to learn. The first product that you upload down the track you'll look back and you'll be like oh 
oh my goodness <laughs> okay so especially if you're brand new starting out so don't be afraid if you're like oh is this good enough like you will always continually improve you, know, you might need to know before starting a clap out store is there are two different membership types you can opt for the free one or you can opt for the premium membership there is a difference and i will maybe go through this on the computer with you Okay, so as you can see here on the screen, you have the basic seller and the premium seller. The major differences here are the membership price. The basic seller is obviously free and the premium seller does cost $59.95 per year. Now, I will just say if you are in a different country than the United States, it might be slightly different in price because this is priced in US dollars. For me, I think I end up paying about 80 something, U, um, 80 something Australian dollars. So just to keep that in mind. Now, going down the list, the payout rate on the basic seller, the free account, is you only get 55% of all your sales. On the premium seller, however, you get 80% on all your sales. Now, the transaction fees, you have 30 cents per resource on the basic seller and only 15 cents per resource only on orders totaling less than $3. This is another reason why in my Telazo clip art store, I try and price things for $3 and over. So just another thing to be mindful of if you're pricing in your store, don't do it like $2.99 because then you still have to pay that 15 cents transaction fee. So $3 or over is sort of what you want to aim at unless it's like a resource that is, I mean, worth a dollar or whatever. Um, going to max uploads on both accounts is unlimited. Your file size on the basic seller, the free one is 200 megabytes and on the premium seller, you get a gigabyte. Now you don't get to put any video uploads on the basic seller, but you do on the premium seller. You do not get access to premium features and marketing tools on the basic seller, but you do with premium. And on the basic seller and the premium seller, you get the opportunity to participate in TBT School Access, which is a program that is linked to the schools in the US. I'm pretty sure just in the US at the moment. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's um, just in the US at the moment. Um, and it's like part of their school funding that allows teachers to connect with TPT and uh, under their school budget or funding that they are able to use to download um, products from TPT given they're approved by their district or whatnot. <laughs> so hopefully that explains the difference. But yeah, so in a nutshell, basic seller is free. You don't have to pay anything and you can choose to have that one if you... Yeah, basically, basic seller is free and the premium seller does have a cost. Okay, another thing that you might need to know before starting is when you are packaging your set of clip art, you want to include your logo, you want to include your terms of use or terms and conditions, your clip art set. I use PNGs, JPEGs are also another option and you can also include both of them in there as well. And you also want to make sure when you're packaging your file that you include your name in the folder. So like in my last video when I created the Boho Flowers, I wrote Boho Flowers dash Talazo Clip Art. Because if you don't include any of those things, like your terms of use, your logo or anything like that, they, and you just include the images, they might be like, oh, where did I even get this from? Can I use it commercially? So you want to make sure that you include all those things. So another thing that you need to know, this is probably my most important thing that I would like you guys to know because I didn't really know when I first started and I am going to create a whole brand new video on my little journey with that but this is something super important you need to make sure that you are aware of trademark trademarks and copyright words images text whatever I don't want you to make that mistake because when I first started I didn't really know about the whole trademark thing so if you're creating a piece of clip art you need to make sure that that image is not based off someone else's idea so like I said in the beginning, I made that mistake and I think that is something that a lot of people continue to make because sometimes you just don't know and um, in my case it was just I didn't know. So I'm telling you now this is something it's extremely important that you need to make sure regardless of whether you're a clip art store or a general store but you need to make sure that you're not creating artworks or resources based off somebody else's work if it's trademarked or copyrighted. Like, like I said, I'm going to make a whole new video on that and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks of how to navigate that because it is quite overwhelming, honestly. <laughs> so I feel you there if you're like, what's copyright, what's trademark, what's intellectual property, uh, all that stuff. I'm going to go a little bit more into detail with that in future videos. But just know for now that 
things like minions, things like Pokemon, things like Lego, things like Cat in the Hat, you can't actually create clip art based off those characters or images because they're trademarked. Like I said, I didn't actually know that when I first started, um, but I will go through that story in another video. So just make sure that you are aware of this because it is a massive thing. I wish I was told this earlier. I was just naive. I dove straight into this whole TPT world and I didn't um, know that I needed to know that. So, because I'd never sold anything online before. So now I know that I'm definitely giving you that heads up that you can't just create something just because you created it doesn't mean it belongs to you necessarily. If it's trademarked, it means you're using that idea, that image to create something else. Even if you've done it, you're, if you've drawn it physically yourself, but it's based off someone else's reference image or whatever, that's still you can't do. And you may find on TBT and other marketplaces, there are lots of people selling things that they shouldn't actually be selling. So be very careful of that, especially when you, if you are a general store watching this, be mindful too of that when you're creating products because sometimes some people don't actually have the rights to be creating um, characters based off those trademarked words. Now, mind you, there are some people that do have the rights to create products based off a trademarked or copyrighted image but they have a license or they have permission to but for the majority especially in those bigger fit fields like Pokemon and Lego and all that stuff even Bitmoji's actually trademarked so you might find a lot of things on there that on TBT that actually shouldn't be on there so just because someone else is doing it doesn't mean it's okay and doesn't mean that it's um, legal <laughs> So just be careful of that because yeah, like I said, I can't stress this enough because it's something that I had to go through and it was freaking me out and um, I've learned a little bit from that and I want to really help you guys with that as well and I'm trying my best to do what I can and I'm still learning as well but yeah, if you can just make sure that you are aware of those and try and look into things then that will be helpful to you before starting your clip art store um, or resource store. Another tip for what you should know is be yourself. You'd be so surprised at how many people just want to copy somebody else's thing because they think it's working for them. You don't want to do that and that's something, look, in the very beginning you're going to want to get inspiration from others and that's totally okay. Have a look, research the market, see what's out there, but don't just recreate somebody else's work because it's not your creative flair. Um, so it's hard like look everyone's inspired by something so ideas definitely come and go but just make sure that you put your little twist on it. This is something that I've had to learn a little bit as I've gotten into this business but starting to Lazo clip art I really wanted to start on the foundation of making sure that it was like all my own original work and then I really tried to do the best I could to make sure that it was my style and me um, because yeah you can look at others and be intimidated about, oh, well, that's working for them, so maybe I should do something like that. My tip here also would be is when you're creating something, yes, you can research the market. Yes, you can be inspired by things, but make sure when you're creating, just create without having anything to look at in front of you. Create what comes out of your head naturally. So that would be a tip um, for me to give to you because you are original you are unique nobody is like you you have different experiences you have different ways of drawing you have different ways of what different things that you can offer and so you don't need to copy somebody else's just because they're finding success in it doesn't mean you actually will find success in that either so just honestly just be okay with being you because you'll find success in that and you'll find it quicker doing your own style and it will be a lot more sustainable and maintainable as well in the future uh, another tip for what you need to know before starting is <laughs> look tbt is actually hard work <laughs> takes a lot of hard work and commitment i have been working on these two businesses that I have. Um, pretty much ever since I started my TPT store, I've worked on something um, every single day pretty much to build these sites. Basically, I just want to let you know that TPT can be hard work. It's not easy. If it was easy, then everyone would do it. Everyone would be rolling in lots of money, but it's hard work and consistency is going to be the biggest thing here. But what I like to refer to TPT is, is like, it's like going to the gym you're not going to go to the gym work out once and be like oh my god i've got abs i'm like seriously 
it takes hard work, it takes months, it takes years to get the body of your dreams. So just like it takes a while for a apple tree to grow, you plant the seed. So this is your baby, your little TPT, this is when you start, you plant the seed. Now to get that apple seed, apple tree seed, to grow into an apple tree, you need to water it. So that means the consistency, you need to water it every day to make it grow. And that's exactly the same as TPT. Okay, um, look, I'm not overly successful on this at the moment, but look, I am earning a couple hundred dollars um, a month from it at the moment, and I have seen like some progress from this Talazo Clip Art store a lot quicker this time around because I've utilized some of the things I learned in my first year. For me, at the moment, I'm like, okay, I see the vision, and the longer that I'm consistent, the more... Um, the more products that I can upload, but quality products, the more I'll get back in return. So you really need to know that you're, if you start a TPT store, you kind of got to be in it for the long haul. You can treat it any way that you want to treat it, but the effort that you put into it is what you'll get out. So yeah, treat it like a business, it'll be more of a business. Treat it like a hobby, it'll be more of a hobby. So you got to really work on this every day. So my next question is, when should I upgrade to the premium membership? So this is a question that I sort of had when I first started out as well. When I first started, I didn't have the money to invest in <laughs> well, my first store. I didn't actually purchase the premium membership until I actually earned that amount of money on TPT. It took me a few months before that happened, but when I finally earned that amount on TPT, then I upgraded. But look, because I didn't have the premium membership, it took me a lot longer to get because they were taking so much of a cut off me because I didn't. I just had the free account. So I was getting sale, a couple sales, but I wasn't earning as much as I could have been earning because I only had the free membership. I did that because I didn't have the money at the time. Um, and so the question of when, when should you upgrade to your premium membership? I have two suggestions here. If you are unsure as whether this is gonna be something for you, I'd say keep it free until you get your first sale because there's nothing better than that first sale that's gonna motivate you. Keep your free account, upload your products. As soon as you get your first sale, upgrade to the premium membership. That's sort of what I did with Talazo Clip Art because even going into this as a second business, I didn't actually pay, I started off with a free account and it took me two weeks before I made my first sale. When I made my first, or actually the same day I sold two things so I didn't get as much money back but as soon as I got those sales I was like okay, someone believes in my work, if someone can buy one thing off me then I'm going to invest in this and I'm going to purchase the premium membership. If you however have the means, if you've got the money um, to spend on this, uh, then I would absolutely start, I would recommend buying it straight up because when you do make your first sale which will happen eventually given your you put the work in um you will get more money back from it but i would say if you're you know 100 percent sold i would say look upgrade yet until you make that first sale because i promise you it will light a little fire in you <laughs> to keep on going so i'd say keep it free until you have your first sale but if you are feeling super excited and you know this is what you want to do just upgrade get the premium because when you do make that sale you get more money from it which leads us to where can i actually get more information on studying a tbt store clip arts i have a few suggestions here because this is something that i didn't really know when i first started tbt that they were available so these are things i've had to kind of seek out and look for so i'm just sharing this so you can maybe be a part of it and get into things quicker and understand and learn things quicker. So my first suggestion would actually be TPT as their website and TPT University. So in a moment, I'm just gonna run through a little bit of the TPT University because there is so much valuable information on here. And I wish I sort of, when I first started, actually had a really good read of this because it does answer some really key questions. And if you are struggling with knowing something, then you can go to TPT University. And I'm pretty sure as long as you have a seller account, then you have access to the TPT University. I didn't even know if it was, I didn't even know it was a thing really until I like kind of did a bit more digging. Okay, so if you go to your name and go to dashboard, then click on marketing, you will find um, just below the marketing area there is a little place that is called TPT University. If you click on that 
it will lead you to a whole range of amazing resources that you can read about to get a bit more information about starting a TPT, what you need to do and what things you can expect. You can learn about copyright and trademark, how to price your products. They give you tips. For example, here you've got the 10 tips um, to keep in mind when creating resources. This is really helpful if you're just starting out. Um, it, they also have great advice. So they've got different like little blog posts that you can click on and have a little read of, which is really helpful. You can go to small business tips and tricks. So it gives you some information about how to um, report earnings from TPT uh, and a lot of other little things that you might not think about when you're first starting, but it's really good to go over. I sort of wish I <laughs> knew more about it when I first started, but um, yeah, this area is where you can really dig in and um, read all about TBT from their website so you know it's legit um, and it just gives you all this different information that um, yeah like I said you might not have thought about before starting so if you've got any questions they might be able to answer them here uh, even like about tax codes um, and just like just totally different things that you can look into if you've got a question that you need to find the answer to. This is a great place to start. Um, I just started out kind of looking at the forums, which some of them were a little bit outdated, but that's another way that you can have a look at some more information, the forums. Um, another suggestion, which is a bit more modern, would be your Facebook groups. Definitely go onto Facebook, type in TPT groups or whatever, and you, you'll have a range of TPT groups that come up. Um, and I would recommend this because I feel like I've joined a couple of the TBT groups, Facebook groups, and I feel like you do, I, I feel like I've leveled up a little bit because people ask questions that maybe it's not in your niche, but you didn't know about, and it's really handy to know what other people's struggles are, and it's, it's a community, so you can kind of get a feel of what's happening in that space. So definitely, if you have Facebook, then seek that out because there are some pretty supportive people that can help. Um, if you want to ask a question, you can ask that in some of those groups. So yeah, I would recommend going and finding some Facebook groups. Another thing is YouTube. I obviously got a shout out this lovely lady. I learned a lot from her and I feel like I will definitely pass that on because she's given a lot of free content and knowledge. Even though I'm in a different like niche, clip art, I've learned so much from some of her videos and no surprise, but <laughs> Becca Davis, hey girl. <laughs> I actually have been following her um, if you're watching this, you, um, but I've been following her for when she pretty much basically first started her TPT journey and channel on YouTube and it, she came at the right time for me because she'd been doing it just for like six months when I started, I think, and so she had her like six month income report when I just started my TPT store, so that really gave me like some information and she's got heaps more videos out since then, but I was definitely like following her from her early days and it was so nice to see her grow now she's got like 5,000 plus subscribers so good on you girl um so yeah super exciting but I would definitely recommend her she has a lot of free content that you can watch and really breaks it down in a really cohesive way that you can understand and I did learn a lot of things from her so definitely check her out another one that I like on YouTube too is it's all prime I think it's it's all primary so she has a, I think her name's Laurieann, hopefully I said that right, uh, Laurieann, she, she's kind of more into the whole boom card thing, which I actually have a boom card store too, so I really actually enjoy that, so she shares a lot of TPT stuff as well, just general TPT stuff and boom cards and just really relevant stuff, so she does an amazing job trying to like break that down and she's one that I've been watching as well. Another one is Teacher Tech Files. She does uh, some videos that are really helpful and really helps you understand some things and gives you advice. And that's just what, another one that I like to watch. And Amber Cauldron, she's one um, YouTuber too that I enjoy. She's kind of more on the social media side of things, but she does have her own TPT store. And I like her stuff because she's uplifting and positive, but she also gives you some ideas for organization and just 
shares a bit of her experience so I like those four are my main ones that I like and yeah and hopefully because um, I haven't found a lot of clip artists sharing their journey on YouTube I'm hopefully I'm hoping that you might continue coming back to me to watch my journey as I progress and grow in this space as well so lastly I do want to shout out to um, this is another way that you can get some information is podcasts if you don't have podcasts in your ears about TBT you need them because you know you can do things like wash the dishes and if you've got kids like I do you can do things and put a podcast on in the background and you can listen to that information learn while you're doing other things so podcasts are really beneficial the ones I really love and I can't forget to shout out Casey Morris <laughs> she has um, awesome interviews with different teachers and she's really inspiring too she really I loved listening to the CEO teacher podcast I think it's called I'll try and like include a photo um, Casey Morris has some really awesome podcasts that she shares about um, her experience her journey um, she has kids as well and so super relatable and she's really helpful if you are wanting to get into the TPT space and um, lastly is a new friend I feel like I've made is the terrific teacherpreneur this is such a tongue twisting um, title but Alex she's amazing she shares lots of different um, tips and tricks and I love her podcast actually she's got an Instagram and I've actually spoken to her recently and we don't actually live that far away which is kind of exciting because I'd love to meet up with her one day but she does like a lot of Pinterest stuff and yeah she just gives you some really practical ideas and tips and she's been doing this a little while as well now so uh, yeah I find her stuff really really beneficial and she's really honest she feels like literally she just feels like a friend like guiding you through this and giving you the honest truth of it but also sharing her knowledge which is I definitely shout that out definitely go check her out as well so this leads me to question six is my work good enough we all have room for improvement but if you are willing if you're passionate um, if you are somebody that is I mean as teachers as educators we know that sometimes we're not necessarily good at something at the beginning but we can always work our way to get better so I can show you <laughs> look I'm gonna show you my first clip art drawing that I a little clip art girl that I first posted like years and years and years ago when I didn't when I didn't know I could be a seller and I just posted it for free I'm going to show you this clip art it's so embarrassing <laughs> this is my clip art and um it's a little girl and yeah I just think obviously I've grown a little bit more from that but yeah <laughs> so yeah if you're wondering if your work is good enough I like to think of it as as long as you are wanting to continually improve and you are passionate then you have a you have a spot here especially when it comes to clip art and drawing you know everyone's style is different and you just might be surprised you don't need to be Picasso you don't need to be some artistic genius to be able to sell on TPT especially for clip art you do want it to be cute and pretty and quality but look the style of it you know I have done stick my first free upload was stick men and I have got some good feedback on those stick men so if you can only draw stick men you might just you, you I'm sure you could probably do this <laughs> um, and I'm not saying you don't have to have a creative bone in your body it definitely helps it all can learn things these things come with practice and it comes with time and you do get better the more that you do so you clip out or your style of drawing you might think oh no one would buy that what have you got to lose to putting it up someone doesn't buy it they don't buy it you know but the more that you do the more that you put out you might find somebody just takes that chance and be like, actually this is what I was looking for I didn't need something fancy on the other scale if you are really intricate and detailed in your work then you might find a lot of success in that as well because people are like oh this is amazing quality this person oh she or he or them do an amazing job at creating the clip art that I need for my resources so yeah I hope this video was helpful I hope that you um, learned something here today I have so many ideas you guys and I really like I said I want to be helpful because I know how hard it is to find information to try and figure it out on your own if you have some ideas of videos that you would kind of been wondering or thinking about how do I do this thinking about how how do I do this and I know the answer then I will try and create a video for you guys to answer those 
questions. I love seeing the comments down below and I've hit 10 subscribers, so thank you. I would love to obviously get to 100, but we'll just stay small for now. And yeah, we'll just see how this goes. Uh, my next video, I want to kind of maybe either do something like how you can organize your storefront or I'm thinking about maybe doing the, how to change your animated banner. Um, but please let me know sort of videos that you want to know. Do you want to know more about Procreate? Do you want to know more about how to set up your TPT store? Like I'm just creating videos of things that I think would be helpful to beginning sellers, um, especially in like the clip art space. But I'd like to get you guys to have some input in this because I obviously want to create videos that's going to be helpful to you guys. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time and I really value that because I know what it's like being a mum. Time is valuable. So thank you so much. If you made it to the end, literally are amazing. <laughs> thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks once again. Adios. My son's awake. Ah! <laughs> Can you say hello? My little son just woke up. <laughs> so, say hi, darling. Did you have a good sleep? Did you have a good sleep? <laughs> you say hello. Mommy's filming a video. Hey, do you want to show everyone your cute shirt? It's a little bit dirty. What does it say? What does it say? Be good to your mother. And it's got a picture of an earth. <laughs> so, yes. Are you going to be right if you play on the floor for a minute while mommy finishes the rest of this video? Wait. <laughs> You're so smiley. You're so smiley. Hey. Okay. I'm going to try and finish this video. Uh, I was expecting my little baby to be asleep for a little bit longer, but these are the things that we have to do as mamas, huh?